Will potatoes grow from just an eye? Let's find out. Eighth of May 2019 and this is one of two potatoes to be used in Troll Forge's Potato Home Challenge. Now, spoiler alert, Mrs Worms inadvertently harvested one of the containers so I couldn't do the comparison in the end, but I did save the eyes I removed from this potato, three of them, and I'm going to try growing them on to see if I can get any potatoes from them. 9th of May and it's the day after and today I'm going to sow the potato eyes I saved from yesterday. One eye per three inch pot. The pot contains a mix of used compost, perlite and my own vermicompost. I've made a hole in the centre an inch to an inch and a half deep and I'm just dropping them in and covering. I'm not concerned about which way is the right way up as I have got every confidence in these eyes producing roots that know their way down. Now it's just a case of watering in well, leaving them on a shelf in the greenhouse and waiting to see if anything happens. 31st of May. Earlier I harvested a small pot of charlottes and I left them here to see if they would inspire the eyes to grow up and be just like them. And it seems two of the three eyes have produced shoots. One definitely seems bigger and stronger than the other though. So now I'm going to put these on from the three inch pots into five inch pots. And it'll also give us a chance to look at how the roots are doing. The compost in the five inch pots is used compost with some fish and bone meal added. Now I ended up overfilling these pots in order to get most of the leaves covered. I put too much compost in the bottom and really what I should have done is I should have emptied out some instead of overfilling. But here we are. It'll settle in with some watering in and firming around the root ball. These will now be left permanently outside in the sunniest spot that I can find in the garden, which is not easy in my garden considering there's so much shade from the neighbour's trees now. 22nd of June and I'm left with the biggest and strongest of the two as slugs have done a number on the other one. So I'm afraid they've seen the weaker plant off. But this one looks like it's doing well and it's time to pot on again. This time I'm using an eight inch pot and again it's filled with used compost and just some fish and bone meal added. The roots are now looking more vigorous, longer, stronger and there's more of them. And this will be planted deep enough to allow two to three inches of leaves to remain above the surface. 4th of August and the plant has been potted on for one final time into a 22 litre container. And again the medium is used amended compost with fish and bone meal. The only difference now is since potting on around mid-July every two weeks I've been adding a small spoonful of potassium granules when I water. The plant has lots of healthy green leaves, strong horns, and it's even got some flowers. 31st of August. To support the horns and to give the plant some protection from the wind, because the last thing I want now at this stage is for the horns to break off or get damaged in some way, I added some bamboo canes and strings. But its early luster is starting to fade. The good news is though that there's no sign of any blight or any particular deficiencies in the leaves. I think what's happening here is the plant is just coming to the end of its life cycle. 2nd of October and we're done. It's time to tip this container over and see if we've got anything to harvest. Now, by the way, I'm not supposed to lift anything heavier than two kilo for the next two months following surgery, but they never said anything about tipping things over. And if anyone asks how the container actually got here, tell them that you moved it for me, okay? And yes, it does seem like we have something. Now this is interesting, I'm guessing it looks like this because there was no seed potato to sprout from. It was just an eye and roots. Still a few more here. And I think that's it. Let's see what we got from one potato eye. Ten potatoes. 
10 potatoes all in, 6 are fairly decent sized, 3 small ones and a pea sized one. And now to weigh them and the final tally is one and a half pounds. So there you have it, one and a half pounds of potatoes from nothing more than a potato eye. Well I hope you enjoyed this little experiment. What is it about potatoes that makes people want to experiment? Anyhow, as always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.